yesterday William Ruto made some remarks that have been causing serious political debates amongst Kenyans. Ruto talked on his intention to increase taxes and he went further to say that as a country we must live within our means. And those words shocked very many Kenyans because it's very clear William Ruto is presiding over government that does not live within its means. We are seeing additional positions in government being created. Positions that are just helping in increasing the government's expenditure. We are seeing William Ruto borrowing massively from the West. All these are just helping in increasing the government's expenditure and increasing the country's debts. I want us to listen to Ruto or his sentiments are going to inform the basis of our analysis right now. Listen to this. When I came into office, I told everybody, tighten up your belts. I am not going to preside over a bankrupt country. I am not going to preside over a country that is in debt distress. We have to cut our spending, you know, and there is no free lunch. And uh, we have to think of uh, what we need to do to do two fundamental things. Reduce. We cannot spend what we don't have. And number two, if we look at our peers, and you know, Kenyans have been socialized to believe that they pay the highest taxes. But empirical data shows Kenya as of last year, we were, our tax as a percentage of our revenues was 14%. Our peers in the continent is on average between 22 and 25%, which means we are way below, um, our taxes are way below those of our peers, you know, and, I, and I'm not comparing myself, ourselves with OECD countries. You know, countries like France are at 45%, you know, others are higher. So I, I persuaded and I made a case to the people of Kenya that we must begin to enhance our revenue because if we are a serious state we must be able to enhance our taxes so my drive is to push Kenya possibly this year we will be at 16 percent from 14 percent I want in my term, God willing, to leave it at between 20 and 22 percent. It's going to be difficult. I have a lot of explaining to do. People will complain, but I know finally they will appreciate that the money we go to borrow from the World Bank is savings of other countries. We have to begin to live within our means. Let's put those remarks into perspective for Kenyans to understand where the truth is. Ruto is talking of a country in debt stress. He has been in power for now about two years. In these two years, he has borrowed over four trillion Kenya shillings. In fact, he has borrowed more than any other president who has served Kenya. That's a fact. That's the truth. So when he talks about a country in a debt stress or crisis, he is the one putting Kenya in a debt stress and crisis. That's what Kenyans should know. And just as I've always said here, Ruto do talk the opposite. I think by now Kenyans should come to terms with that reality. If he says north, he means the south. He's also saying 
we have to cut our spending. We can't spend what we don't have. When William Ruto borrows from World Bank, IMF, and all these other lending institutions, is he not as the president putting Kenya in a position where we are spending what we don't have? Again, I just don't understand what's wrong with William Ruto. Does he listen to himself when he speaks? He speaks the opposite. He's also saying that he wants to increase our taxes, that currently it's around 14% to our revenue. So he wants to push it to 22%. The big question now is, the overtaxation that his government has been imposing on Kenyans, what has his government done with all that money? Where are the development projects? Is there any single project William Ruto can pinpoint that this is what my government has done? Zero. So all these taxes are just meant to benefit a few individuals in government. There is no development to show, no project to show. He's comparing Kenya to some other countries. France. How can Ruto compare Kenya to France? <laughs> hmm? I think Ruto is not okay. And he's also saying that he'll be asked some hard questions, but eventually Kenyans will appreciate him. That's how William Ruto is good when it comes to convincing naive Kenyans that eventually Kenyans will appreciate it. Dalili ya mvua ni mawingu. Hmm? Dalili ya mvua ni mawingu. Something that is bound to succeed, you can just see it from the early stages. William Ruto's government will not succeed because it's based and premised on corruption. This is a government of deals. Eh? Top government officials are looting from public coffers, but the same president saying Kenyans will appreciate is actually the one protecting these rogue and corrupt government officials. I always remind Kenyans that some months back, Margaret Nyakango tried exposing corruption in Kenya Kwanzaa government. What followed, she was targeted by the same government, arrested and arraigned in court. So any person exposing corruption in Kenya Kwanzaa government, you must become a target. Look at who has protected Mithika Lituri. What has happened in the Ministry of Agriculture is a classic example of corruption. If William Ruto was serious about ending corruption, we could have seen heads rolling in the Ministry of Agriculture. But unfortunately, the same government has bribed members of parliament to shield and protect the CS responsible. How will Kenyans appreciate if taxpayers' money is being looted openly? According to Auditor General's report, and again this is something I keep on repeating, Kenya has been losing a third of its annual budget to corruption. In Ruto's government, that figure is going up. How will Kenyans appreciate if the taxes being collected are being looted? How will Kenyans appreciate? The truth of the matter, William Ruto means the opposite. In the next five years, assuming he'll rule for those five years, Kenya will be in a worse off position than it is today. William Ruto is currently renovating State House at a tune of over 1 billion Kenya shillings. Regarding the Shagwa yesterday, was requesting 1.1 billion Kenya shillings to renovate his current residence and his annex office. So you are seeing clearly that this is a government not living within its means. It's actually piling pressure on Kenyans 
to live within it means, but the same government is misusing taxpayers' money. So the remarks by William Ruto, in my honest opinion, are hypocritical, and those are just his usual propaganda and the usual lies. If you listen to how he speak, you can think he means what he's saying. You can think he's very honest and serious. The truth of the matter, those are just words. Inwardly, he means the exact opposite. And he's just laughing at how foolish and naive Kenyans are to trust and to believe in. That's exactly what's happening here. Let me stop it there. If you are watching us but you have not yet subscribed, subscribe, give the video a like. Those who are watching us outside Kenya, drop a comment, let us know from which part of the globe you are watching us from. If possible, subscribe, give the video a like. Let's meet in our next analysis. Thank you.